Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am back with another monthly reset. So today we're gonna reflect on our March goals. We're gonna create our goals for April. Let's go ahead and get started with the video. So for March, I had these um, categories. So the first goal for my social platforms was to reach 1,120 on TikTok. And I actually have overachieved that, so we can check that off. So right now it's April 2nd and I, let me see what we are at. I think I've had a few videos do well, so I'm really happy about this, but we are at 1493. So we definitely overachieved that. So I'm super, super grateful for that. I've really been putting in so much content on TikTok. Like if you follow me on there, I hope you're not getting tired of me because I'm blasting out as much content as I can on there. I love TikTok. Another goal was to post one TikTok a day. I believe I achieved this. I feel like maybe I missed like one day, but I don't quite remember. I post sometimes like three times a day. Um, I think a few days ago I posted like four times a day. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely gonna check that off. Then I had a goal to reach 1930 on YouTube and I think we actually overcame that, which I'm actually surprised because <laughs> as you guys, if you've seen my like last few monthly resets, you've noticed that I kind of get discouraged with YouTube sometimes, but right now april 2nd um we are at 1956 so i will screenshot that um but super happy about that which is really exciting i can't believe like i'm gonna get to 2k this year like that's crazy and definitely check that off then i had a goal to post a youtube video once a week so this kind of depends because when I, like i think i've missed like one week and i instead posted shorts so I don't I don't know if we want to count that or not. Do we do we count that, Caesar? Count what? Shorts. Posting a short does it count as posting a YouTube video once a week? Mm. He's second guessing, so maybe we, we shouldn't check it out. <laughs> Um, and then reach out to five brands. I actually did do that at the beginning of the month I did reach out to more than five brands and I actually took a different initiative I usually would email if anything, but I actually like slid into their DMS So instead of emailing and actually went about um, sending them DMS So I did do that and then financially let's move on to financial So finish reading the psychology of money. I did finish reading that book it did take me a little bit longer just because i don't know for some reason i always finish my fiction books way faster especially my colleen huber books way faster than like any other books and i did like this book i thought it was a different approach than your basic kind of like financial book because of the psychology part so it helped me understand not just myself but like just us humans in general a little bit better with money and it had really good like points and description um what i really loved aside from that though was the storytelling because i love storytelling in general and like when you mix that in with things that i want to learn like finance i feel like it makes it more interesting to read so that's what i really really liked about this book so i did do that and then i did save four hundred dollars so i'm gonna check that off and then i did invest four hundred dollars again so i'm really proud of that still on track with all that stuff um moving on to health so it says go to the gym two to three times a week i'm happy to say i did this except this past last week like we're on the last week and it's april 2nd and i did not go to the gym this week although i literally went for a walk almost every single day this week so i'm not going to check that off because i did miss this last week but i am proud that i did go for a walk almost every single day this week so we're okay i still feel not as guilty as i should not guilty but just, just like when i like don't complete everything sometimes i like feel like <clears throat> like else you know, I could have done that, but it's been a crazy month and I've just really, I'm having so much on my plate because like vacation is like literally in two days. And then I had only go out to eat four times this month. I don't think I accomplished that. I think I was like on a good track, but this last week, I feel like I went out to eat twice. I think I don't really know, but I'm pretty sure it was twice, which is usually not common. Usually I'll go out to eat like once a week. The last section is read two books, including the psychology of money. And I did read the psychology of money as I shared, but I am not done yet with my other book, which I'm really close to, but I honestly didn't prioritize 
reading as much as I should have this month. I really prioritize like my content and I like working out and other things way more. I'm currently in the process of reading Colleen Hoover's All Your Perfects. So far, I really like it. I only have like 100 pages left, so I'm pretty sure I'm gonna finish it tonight um, or maybe tomorrow if anything, because when I'm on vacation, I wanna take another book. I wanna start a new book. So really like this book so far it's actually really interesting and i like the storyline and then the last thing was personal self-care a day or night i did do that i had a face mask and stuff like that and i also got my nails done i got my eyebrows done so i feel like i did like more um self-care um than i usually would so i'm pretty proud of myself I'm really happy with that although it was mainly like for vacation coming up um i'm still proud of myself for that so that is everything we completed this month definitely wish i could have completed everything but it's totally okay i've had such a crazy month i think march was okay honestly like i feel like right now i have a hard time remembering what i even did in march because i don't know why i just like have the worst memory if it weren't for like the little moments where i like will take a photo or take a video i feel like i am just so forgetful you know i'm not the best at taking photos recently because i've been so caught up on like taking video content earlier in march i do realize and remember like i we went to the gym three times a week a few tiktoks really pop off i think my rare beauty one has been growing a lot it's almost at 400k views and that's something that i'm really really happy with oh i went to a small business shop which was really really cute and i think i did like a little haul over on my tiktok things that was a really nice like best friend date i did go to the movies twice i I believe we watched creed 3 and then we watched um ant-man and then it was my best friend's birthday so we did go roller skating that was really nice because it was like different i don't usually ever really go roller skating um it was kind of scary at first but it was a really pretty good like i don't know it's a really fun time seeing friends and stuff like that we did spend a lot of time with family we doggy sat our friend's dog which was an amazing time we miss him all the time <laughs> i did a lot of vacation prep this month went shopping for vacation and just all of that excitement excitement and yeah overall um we did make alfajores which are peruvian cookies twice then we also went to the beach because it was finally sunny so it was so nice we did a lot of more walking this month i got my first paid ugc collab this march and i am so grateful and it was just incredible i love it um i just submitted kind of like my last um i had to make one edit so i just submitted that um but yeah i had so much fun doing that this march it was so amazing i had so much fun overall i feel like it was a good month so really happy about that let's move over to my april goals and what i want to achieve this month okay let's do our april monthly reset so for this new month we're going to split it again to all the new category categories i can't talk so this month is going to be a little bit different because i am away a full week pretty much for vacation so i do want to keep that in mind social platforms i do feel like i can grow my tiktok a little bit more right now we're at 1493 i feel like 1500 will happen within the next few days which is early in april so i feel like we can reach for 1600 or 1700 so 1650 on tiktok i feel like that's really doable to be honest and for this month i don't want to set like a goal of every day like posting on tiktok i just kind of want to let myself post um most likely i'll post every single day but i just don't want to make it like a strict kind of like goal where i have to reach every single day um another thing that i do want to add on here is my youtube okay so we're in 1955 i just lost a subscriber which is totally okay <laughs> okay let's do 1970 on youtube i want to put more focus on ugc collaborations so i'm trying to think i think i want to do more research about that and just kind of like seeing how i can reach out to brands offering um ugc so i'm gonna do some research on ugc i've done some but mainly just for the collaboration that i had on like how to like have my own little setup and stuff like that and diy that but i want to do research on how i can 
kind of like reach out maybe create a ugc portfolio i don't know but just research overall on ugc collaborations because i really want to i need to do that that's a goal three reels this month on april is pretty good for instagram because i do want to post more reels on instagram so post three reels on instagram i just don't want it to become like my daily place where i post content because that is not what i see for myself um so we'll do that that's all that i can think of for this month so moving on to financial we are again going to save um but i'm thinking because there's been like a turn of events for april um i forgot to mention i did get invited to my first ever brand event and so i am going to go to that event and it is not necessarily like here where like near where i live so we are taking a road trip that was like a very kind of like last minute not like super last minute but like it's after the weekend after our vacation so i am aware that that is probably gonna be a little bit like costly but i really want to prioritize going to the event and networking and all that stuff especially because it's my first one so that is okay but i do want to keep in mind like i still want to save and i still want to invest we're gonna save still 400 dollars because i do feel like that's doable but we're only going to invest um a little bit less so let's invest only 200 dollars um maybe i'll do save 200 and invest 200 and i will try to do more than that but at least my minimum is like 200 200 for each um i want to have no spending weeks um in this month of april whether it can be any week i don't really care like i can pick the last week of april i can pick the middle week of april i don't care but i want to start doing this like every single month and eventually hopefully i can do like again a no spending month because i only did that once and i want to do those even more so we're just gonna do a no spending week for april that's something i've been wanting to do i feel like when i do these things with you guys i get, like feel more accountable like you guys are watching this video and i feel like these are the things that i'm more inclined to do or like complete versus like just writing a goal for myself and like not telling anybody and let's move on to health so i will be out of town for a week and then like a weekend so i want to keep in mind um that i say go to the gym six times this once i feel like that's doable i know in our vacation we're going to be doing like a lot of walking and getting our steps in and overall we've been walking around a lot here when we don't go to the gym so that's very nice and i really like walking especially when the sun is like nice the day is beautiful i love it okay another health thing this i don't know if i have another health goal like i can't really think of anything because like i wish i could say like don't go out to eat more than a specific number of times but i'm gonna be out for vacation like i don't want to do that to myself i'm just gonna say the walking because i feel like walking is good and i love walking so let's just go for a walk every week i feel like that's doable go for a walk every week doesn't say how many times i'm just i just want to walk every week well, i definitely want to finish this book called um all your perfects by colleen huver so finish reading what is that all your perfects perfect and then read the perfect marriage i'm really excited to read that book it sounds crazy but also sounds so interesting like i'm so into like the thriller books like those those are so good <laughs> um okay what else and again i want to have my self-care like a day or night so we're gonna add that here a self-care day or night and that doesn't matter it can be like any time oh okay well this is a goal that i already have for myself but um i just i don't know where i guess this is personal um but i have been wanting to 
just get rid of so much stuff from my phone i really like do not prioritize that so we're gonna um declutter phone i really like i i'm not like full on my storage or anything but i have so many photos i have so many videos so many screenshots like i just have so much stuff in there i really need to get rid of so this is what my april month is looking like so i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to thumbs up subscribe down below if you haven't already and i will see you very soon in my next video bye everyone